Uh, hello guys, um, this video is getting out really, really late. I'm just doing it now. It just clicked my head and I'm like, oh, wait a sec. I still got to do this video before the year ends. Um, I should have done this a lot earlier. I had every ability to, but it just slipped through the winds, I guess. Um, so t we're going to talk about the Marvels. This came out a bit ago. <laughs> um, and yeah, um, it is, I'm not going to lie, like, theaters last half the year has been kind of dicey with me um there's been stuff that's come out that i wanted to go see i just couldn't go see it just because of whatnot and whatever um so basically but this one here this is a weird this is a movie i'd like to talk about because it's kind of in a weird spot for mo for a lot of reasons um so the Marvels here that came out in this year, 2023, it's rated PG-13. It's an hour, 45 minutes long. It's considered the shortest Marvel movie released. It has 61% on... Wait, no, not wrong one. <laughs> Where was it? Um, There it is. It has a 5.8 out of 10 on IMDb with about 66,000 ish user votes. It has 50% on Metacritic with 227 critics. It's directed by Mia DaCosta, DaCosta who also did... What else is this? Uh, she wrote the candy for the Candyman movie, the newer one that came out a couple of years ago, a few years ago. It stars Brie Larson, who was in the other Captain Marvel movie, the original, and then um, and I'm in v Velina, who was in the Miss Marvel show. And I'll talk a little bit about that in this video as well. A Rotten Tomatoes movie got 61% by critics with 348 critics. It's 83% by audience, about 2,500-ish audience people. The critics' consensus is funny, refreshingly brief, and elevated by the chemistry of its three leads. The Marvels is easy to enjoy in the moment despite its cluttered story and jumbled tonal shifts. The audience says fun characters and entertaining fast-paced story make the Marvels an enjoyable addition to the MCU. Okay, so my thoughts. <laughs> I thought it was okay. I didn't think it was like god awful. I thought it was better than a Captain Marvel movie. I will say that much. Um, so here's the thing. I, the you need to. I after catching up with MCU TV on Disney Plus, I will say that you will then. I would highly recommend watching the Miss Marvel show before watching the Marvels. Very much so, because it, it pretty much focuses on one of the three leads, the kid lead. Um, I, I love her in that show, and I love her here, too. She is very energetic, charming, and brings a lot of life. And I expect her to kind of lead the way for the MCU in future projects if the actress keeps, you know, on it in the MCU. Um... I thought Breeze Larson's character was better written here and much more credible here. Um, her best friend, I thought it was. Oh, you also need to also see, need to see WandaVision too for sure. Um, for for her friend, um, she's good here too. Um, it's kind of hard to really like. Um, definitely see WandaVision for that one. It, but the the kid lead, she's she's the heart and soul here for this movie. Um this I think the biggest thing about this movie for me is I just think it it was what an odd choice for November for a November release. It really was. And it, it, the biggest thing is that after this, the next there's only gonna be one Marvel movie out in next year. Which is Deadpool 3. And that's it. This is kind of... I consider this kind of a... Gonna be a bit for this. I don't know if any shows are gonna be coming out. But... But it's it's really weird. Like... Like, leaving everything from this. Now, there's a few moments in this movie that I did legit like. Um... I mean, I don't know if it means anything to go into spoilers or not, because it's been out for a bit, and it's also one of the lowest grossing Marvel movies ever, if not in a very long time. So, it probably doesn't hurt, but I will say that, um, that there are, 
overall, there are a few moments that did get a laugh out of me and the, in the audience too, especially the end one towards the end. So there are some good golden nuggets in this one. I think the biggest issue with this movie is I just feel like the Captain Marvel stuff just I just don't think the first movie handled it the best it's not a bad movie the first one was but it just it's just missing something it just it's like it's like it had a lack of focus like I felt like the I felt like it didn't I felt like its identity was all over the place you know um just like the story that they went with in that this one feels so much more focused and I feel like, and I, I think they did a good job with leads. Now, the villain herself, eh, take it or leave it. I mean, it, it, it's, I kind of wish that the MCU would try to put a little bit more in, effort into the villains for some of their movies. Because they have a smorgasbord of villains to pick from. And they ki I kind of feel like they just don't really think about it as much, especially lately. Uh, the the mid credit scene is very important. Definitely a must watch for that. Um, but overall, though, with it feels like superhero movies are finally starting. The popular is finally starting to kind of die down a bit. And to be honest, I think the biggest reason why is that I think people just are tired trying to keep up with shit. I think that's the biggest thing. I think people just don't want to keep up with stuff. I mean, because when it first started, it was very easy because you just go movie by movie. But I think once you branch off into movies and start releasing them rapid fire along with the movies, I think it, I think it just I think it just tired people out of the formula, and I think it made people more cynical with it, and I think it kind of dragged things down. And, I, and that's the biggest reason why I think they're kind of easing off for a bit. Because they kind of want to try to get the magic back. Um, is this the worst MCU movie I've seen? I don't think so. I'm To me, the, it's a tie between um, their first Captain Marvel movie and... Was it, it's I forgot what the other one was. Hold on, let me look. No, it's on the tip of my tongue. Um. Sorry, I know I'm... Eternals. That's what it was. Eternals and... Eternals and Captain Marvel, and both for very different reasons. Now, I will say this about Eternals: I think from a, I think visually it's one of the best Marvel movies out there for sure. But I think it's missing a lot of the tone, heart, humor stuff, though. It doesn't feel like a Marvel movie. Um, it's Captain Marvel, for all its flaws, does feel like a Marvel movie. Out of the two, I think I would. Almost say Eternals is, which it kind of pains me to say, because I don't hate that movie. I do, I do think there's good things in it. It's just, 
I don't know. It just it just feels like it just tries too hard to be outside of the Marvel formula to a bad fault. Um, but yeah, Captain. Mar but the Marvels. You can see it, but I don't think you need to go to theaters to see it. Now, overall, it's not bad. I, I think it's a decent watch. Just keep in mind that it's it's kind of Marvel filler more than a Marvel highlight. Um, But yeah, in terms of other stuff I'm going to be talking about next... um. Oh, man, there's a lot of there's a few movies I kind of want to see in theaters, but I don't know if I am. I I do want to see Aquaman. That kind of got a December release, so even though it came out this year, odds are if I do see it, it'll probably be 2024. Kind of that weird space there. Also, um, but I will say this though, I don't the I I know I said in a prior channel update that the format for these is going to be updated so keep an eye out for that <laughs> um cuz cuz that's going to be a a possible thing there as well for in how I do things um but overall though it's okay this movie's okay I I say just probably just watch it on Disney plus I don't think you need to see it in theaters and yep yeah, and I th and also because they're not going to really release that much. I mean, ever it gives people time to catch up probably too. But yeah, it's an okay movie. But is it the worst Marvel's ever made? No, but it's it's not anything I would call quote unquote a priority for the most part. Um, but yeah, guys, overall, though, that's going to do it for this video here. Thanks for watching. In case you guys want to chat with anyone at the Campy Company and you didn't want to use the YouTube comment section, we do have a couple options. First one is we have a Discord channel. You can find a link to that in about page slash about section of our channel. We also have a community tab in our channel as well. You can access that anywhere at any time. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like the videos, and have a good day.